From Zack Snyder and his accurately named production company comes the blockbuster that united the world's two biggest superheroes and divided everyone else. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Get ready for the battle of the century between critics and fans that had the movie's most rabid supporters sending out death threats, while its harshest critics refused to admit that anything about it was cool, even though you'd be lying if you thought this wasn't awesome. And this wasn't ridiculous. Save Martha! Why did you say that name? Warner Brothers needed a surefire mega hit to keep pace with the MCU. Now, they're pairing a screenwriter who once said, Batman vs Superman is where you go when you admit to yourself you've exhausted all possibilities. And a director who once said, Batman could get raped in prison. That could happen in my movie? Really strange choices in retrospect. You were promised the dawn of the Justice League, and they delivered an email attachment as the DC Extended Universe kicks off with a folder of low-res QuickTime videos. Who designed the logos? Leaving audiences with a cool new Batman movie, trapped inside a boring convoluted Superman sequel, trapped inside whatever cartoon Lex Luthor is from. And I am... <laughs> Uh, um, no, what am I? I what was I saying? The Man of Steel you know and fear has returned. Lazy! And even he's not sold on the whole Superman gig. Superman was never real. Witness the hero who once stood for truth, justice, and the American way stand for brooding, moping, and wondering why he even bothers, as the film's main character has nothing to do but silently look constipated, get horrible pep talks from his parents, be anything they need you to be, or be none of it suck at his job. Who's that? And refused to fight back against his toughest opponent yet, Cable News. Superman was involved in the planning of this attack. He is not a hero. Must there be a Superman? Stop scowling and book an interview. Smile. Go to Carpool Karaoke and sing that Five for Fighting song. I'm more than a bird. I'm more than a plane. But my god. He's still a beefcake. Those abs are so good, you won't even notice how fake those eggs are. Watch Zack Snyder prove once and for all that the hero he really wanted to make movies about is this guy. Or at least his weird murdery fanfic version. Ben Affleck shines as Batman, who's one part CrossFit bro, one part Superman, one part Tony Stark, one part Arkham video game, and one part Actual bat? <laughs> Thrill while the world's greatest detective finally gets to do some actual detective work as the actor we all assumed would be the worst part of this movie is by far the best part of this movie. Tell me, do you bleed? Also, everything Wonder Woman did was really cool. Sorry if that seems kind of tacked on and out of place, but you know, so was she. She with you? I thought she was with you. Of course she's with you. You sent her an email like half an hour ago, remember? Watch the Dark Knight grow to hate Superman for clear, obvious reasons, while Superman grows to hate Batman back because Lex Luthor hired someone to kill a criminal Batman branded before he put him in prison, so that when Clark Kent refused to cover the local football team and investigated the Gotham Vigilante instead, he would conclude that, <sighs> look, I don't have time to explain the whole thing. Can we just roll Lex's plan real quick? Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, right, right, the CIA, yeah. Let's see, okay, I don't, I don't even remember that part. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, uh, step 9A, yeah, okay, I forgot about that part. Pee in a jar? Man, this is complicated. You don't have to throw everything but the kitchen sink into your evil plan? And there's the sink. You've been waiting since you were a kid to see these two icons go toe to toe. Well, keep waiting for two f***ing hours through boring congressional hearings. Let me say at the outset that I'm grateful to our witness. So much journalism. Why aren't we covering this? And a semester's worth of intro to philosophy lectures. God is all powerful. He cannot be all good. To finally get the awesome fight you were promised in the title. That ends after just eight minutes because their moms have the same name. Martha! 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 
Martha, Martha, Martha. I know Batman's hung up on his dead parents, but come on. He has the power to wipe out the entire human race, and if we believe there's even a 1% chance that he is our enemy, we have to take it as an absolute certainty. Having a mom changes none of that motivation, no matter what her name is. You can write all the essays you want convincing yourself this was brilliant, then again, dumb is a one-syllable word that covers it pretty well. So suit up for a film that was so highly anticipated, it could never have lived up to the hype that had to deliver the fight fans have wanted to see on the big screen for decades, address the controversy around Man of Steel, make enough money to compete with Marvel, be a sequel to Man of Steel and a Batman solo movie, pander to Jar of P enthusiasts, form the Justice League, introduce Wonder Woman, The Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg, Lex Luthor, Parademons, Doomsday, Steppenwolf, the death of Superman? Whose idea was it to cram all this into one movie? They just burned through like six movies worth of good material. Ugh. But at least Suicide Squad looks pretty cool though, right? Starring Batfleck Forever, Last Son of Krapton, Lady in the Water, Jeremy's Iron, Hector Salamanca, Teenage Mutant Abomination Lord of the Rings Cave Troll, Max Landis, Worst Product Placement, ever. What the hell is even happening here? I had to ask like 10 hardcore DZ fans, and even some of them didn't know. Xena, warrior cameo. A Democratic senator from Kentucky? <laughs> sure, why not? Tonight, a comedian died in Gotham. Martha Wayne and Martha Kent. Oh, now I get it. Nope, still dumb. Fans v. Batman v. Superman, v. Critics v. Other Fans, v. Executives v. Zack Snyder, v. Expectations. Can't do them all justice. How come Dad never left Kansas? You let him die in a tornado, remember? Wish this Honest trailer was even longer? Well then click the box on the left to watch the Batman v Superman Honest trailer Ultimate Edition, which is even longer than the fight between Batman and Superman. It's uncut and uncensored, filled with even more jokes and rants we tacked on to get you to watch it twice, just like BBS did. And don't forget, starting this Thursday, we will be broadcasting live from San Diego Comic Con for Screen Junkie Central, featuring celebrity editions of all your favorite SJ shows that you truly will not want to miss. So click the box on the right to register and watch for free. In Mother Russia, Pokemon catches you. Pokemon Go is Skynet. You rusty potato, I will stab you with a moldy spoon. I am Sparatkus. Prepare to suckle from the teat of defeat. <laughs>